Right now, Marvel Studios has been making big changes to a lot of their upcoming projects and to their strategy moving forward with their movies and with their Disney Plus content. And today we have a great example of how this can be really, really good for the MCU. What was previously rumored to be a Disney Plus special presentation about Nova is now reportedly going to be an entire Nova movie, which is fantastic. I think Nova is a character that does deserves a film instead of just a special presentation, although I think a lot of fans would have been happy with the special presentation as well. But this means Marvel Studios is taking a step back, like they said they were, and looking at what is truly going to work. Not only that, but they did say they are going to scale back on Disney Plus content, so Nova going from a special presentation to a full feature-length film gives us even more signs that that is truly what Marvel and Disney are doing. And not only that, but it looks like they are setting up characters for the future of of the MCU beyond Avengers Secret Wars, which is a great thing because yes, the X-Men are going to be coming. Yes, the Fantastic Four are coming, but we still want remnants of the old universe that we know and love to be left over in the new universe, especially since we've heard it's only going to be a soft reboot after Avengers Secret Wars, not a full on hard reboot where everything is completely reset and we start over from scratch. That is reportedly not what's going to happen, which is great, I think. But let's talk about what a Nova movie could mean, including the return of of Thanos to the MCU and the setup for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 4. But first, if you're new, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the latest Marvel news. We also start our new giveaway for the month of December. If you want a chance to win a PS5, an Xbox Series X, some Marvel Legends items, or some DC items, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a comment on our videos. We pick a random comment at the end of each month, and the winner gets to pick one item. We'll announce our November winner tomorrow, so be sure to check out our video tomorrow. So this new report is coming from Daniel RPK. And he actually has two very recent reports, one about Nova, as we've been talking about, but another about Daphne Keene returning to reprise her role as X-23 in Deadpool 3. Now, this is kind of expected, but at the same time, a lot of fans are kind of confused because Hugh Jackman said that the events of Deadpool 3 are supposed to happen before the events of Logan. That way, Logan's death is not taken away. They don't want to erase everything that happened in Logan, the death of Wolverine, Wolverine, the death of Professor X. Both actors have said that that was it for them. They said their goodbyes there. But of course, now the multiverse is here in the MCU. And a lot of the actors who played those original X-Men characters for the Fox universe have expressed interest and also kind of disappointment that they never got to be a part of the connected universe. They never got to be a part of the MCU. Well, we know that is changing with Deadpool 3 and Secret Wars because a lot of them are coming back and will finally be able to be a part of that. Now, real quick, as far as X-23 goes, we're probably talking about some type Type of a variant. I don't assume this will be the same one that we saw from Logan, but if it is, we also have no idea of what point in time she will be pulled out of. Like if this is the Wolverine from Logan, clearly he's being pulled out of a point in time that's from the past before he died. The same thing could go for X-23. Whatever direction they choose to go with this, I don't think whatever they'll do will undo Logan's death. So if you're worried about that, I wouldn't worry too much. Hugh Jackman already said that's basically not being touched. But according to Daniel RBK, we will see X-23 in Deadpool 3. And of course, like we've been talking about, he has stated a project centered on Nova which was originally going to be a limited series, is now being reworked as a feature film. So interestingly, he states that it was going to be a limited series. We've heard that Marvel Studios has been looking to do more limited series recently instead of full on six episodes to nine episode series, more condensed series like three episodes maybe. And it seems like Nova could have been moved from a special presentation to a limited series and now to a feature film, which I think is fantastic, especially because there's a lot of story to tell about Nova and Avengers Infinity War set this up years ago. And this is what could actually set up the return of Thanos in the MCU, temporarily of course. In Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, we were introduced to Xandar and the Nova Corps. The Guardians ended up saving Xandar, working with the Nova Corps, in which then the Nova Corps then pardoned them for all of their crimes that they committed, becoming allies with them. Then in Avengers Infinity War, Thor told him that Thanos decimated Xandar, and he took the Power Stone. Now, 
if you're not aware, in the comics, Richard Ryder, aka Nova, is a teenager on Earth who suddenly finds himself imbued with powers. After the last Xandarian left, Roman Day chooses Richard Ryder, chose him to become the last Nova Corps Centurion, giving him the powers of the Nova Force. We assume that the origin for Nova is going to be pretty similar in the MCU since Thanos decimated Xandar. There's probably going to be one surviving member left who will choose Richard Ryder, probably on Earth, to inherit the Nova Force. If Marvel Studios goes this route, this will most likely mean that we'll finally see Thanos decimate Xandar, at least fingers crossed we do. If they are going to show us kind of the origin story of how Richard Ryder would get the Nova Force, it would have to begin there at Xandar, where the whole Nova Corps is decimated. They get completely wiped out, everybody is killed, and one remaining Nova Corps member passes on the Nova Force to Richard Ryder. Now keep in mind, we've actually already met Roman Day, who in the comics gives the Nova Force to Richard Ryder. We've met him in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, played by John C. Riley. Perhaps, just like in the comics, it is him who was the last remaining member member of the Nova Corps who chooses some person on Earth to pass down his powers to. Obviously, this person in the MCU would be Richard Ryder. Why he chooses Richard Ryder, we are unsure at this point in time of what the MCU is going to do with the story. But again, if they're going to show the true origin, we should see Thanos and we should see the scene we never got to see of Thanos decimating Xandar. And at the same time, this should actually be a pretty decent setup for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 4. Nova has a great history with the Guardians of the Galaxy in Marvel Comics, and since the new Guardians team is, well, just that, new. With the current roster right now, although a lot of fans love it, they could use a very big lead, since they are missing a lot of the key members that they had before. Nova would make a perfect addition to the new Guardians of the Galaxy team, and it would make for even more excitement for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 4, which I think is desperately needed since now James Gunn is gone, and the team will no longer have Star-Lord, Drax, Mantis, Gamora, Nebula. I think Nova is actually very much needed for this new Guardians of the Galaxy team. Him him along with Rocket, King Groot, the new Adam Warlock, Kraglin, Cosmo, and Phyla would be a pretty epic team if Nova kind of took over the Star-Lord position, because I think the Guardians, the new Guardians that is, do really still need a Star-Lord type character, and I think Nova would be the perfect person to take over kind of that leadership role for the Guardians, even though Rocket technically is the leader, Nova can still come in and fill the void that Star-Lord would have left. And last but not least, Patrick Stewart has recently commented on his possible return to the MCU as Professor X. In an interview with eTalk, he says that it is a possibility. Of course, he cannot come out and outright say, yep, I'm coming back. He's not allowed to do that legally. But I'll leave you with this final clip. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and we'll catch you all in the next video. Woof woof. Rumors that we may see you in the Avengers Secret Wars. Do you want to put that rumor to rest right now? Ha <laughs> um, I, I, I cannot put it to rest because it's not a fact, okay. either for or against. Okay. It, it, it is a possibility. Hugh Jackman and I looked upon Logan uh -huh. as being our farewell. Uh, given that I died in that film, uh -huh. although it's a multiverse. I've been told I've actually died several times already. Right? He just keeps coming back, folks. <laughs> <laughs> How do I do it? But so there's a possibility, and that's all we need. That's all yeah. we need. Yeah, yeah. That just is enough for us to get excited. Know that, and uh, you could get lucky.